Hello guys, this is Dragonzilla here with a second haul video. And going by the title, I was in Portugal for two weeks and I had a great time. It's worth visiting, nice country. However, I will be showcasing the figures that I bought. But before I reveal them, I just want to let you know that the pictures of the figures were not taken in my bedroom. They were taken in the hotel room where I stayed in in case you notice a different background. So with that arrow away, it's time to reveal the figures. Alright, so these three dragon figures were the first, and I have since removed them from their boxes. I thought better, and they were only souvenirs, just simple, cheap little figures. Nothing to brag about, unlike Schleich's, Papples, McFarlane, Safaris, etc. But, you know... Just little cheap figures. You never know, I might use them for an animation one day. Or they might grow on me. Who knows. So the next set are four figures that I got from Zoo Marine. And they are from Schleich. However, I did not get them on the same day. We did Zoo Marine within two days. So on day one, I got a great white shark. The king of the deep, as I call him. I have been collecting figures of reptiles and arachnids this year, so I thought, why not sharks too? They evolved millions of years before the dinosaurs, and they saw our scaly and feathery friends come and go. So why not add them to the list of survivors from the past? The second figure that I picked up was a velociraptor. Now, before you all flip out and say, Oh my god, that raptor is inaccurate. How dare you get a non feathered raptor? I have lost all respect for you. Well, just to let you know that, yes, I'm fully aware of that, and it looks a lot like Jurassic Park's raptors. I do have Papo's feathered velociraptor that I will be reviewing at some point, and next year, Schleich will be releasing a feathered raptor set. And I will be getting that. Also, if you own this figure, you will know that it does have feathers on the arms. So, this raptor is inaccurate for the most part, with the exception of the arms. Okay, with that said, let's move on to day two. And on the second day, I got the Allosaurus, which is one of my most favourite dinosaurs of all time. Alongside Tyrannosaurus Rex, Stegosaurus, Spinosaurus and Velociraptor. And the last figure from Zoomarine was the Carnotaurus. And if you're a Disney fan, you'll probably recognise this one. So here are the Zoomarine figures together. And before I move on, I would like to mention that Zoomarine did have a dinosaur house with animatronic dinosaurs called T-Rex Area. At least I believe that's what it was called. And when I heard of it, I was excited but devastated to hear that it burned down last year. Or at least at the time I'm making this video. And it will sadly not be rebuilt and reopened anytime soon. So, rest in peace T-Rex area. Anyway, back to business. One day we were... In a town which name has unfortunately escaped me. But I got three figures from there. So here's the first one that you're looking at. It's made by Schleich. And at first I thought it was an angel shark. However I have looked it up. And it's a creature called a bowmouth guitar fish. I don't know much on this critter. But it does look like it's related to the shark. and. You could tell me more about this one in the comments. But the next two beasts I definitely know. I got a green dragon and a blue dragon that I call a cheap McFarlane clone. And if you own the real model, you can see why. Once again, the three figures together. And for the last bunch, I got from a toy shop at the marina. And they are both sharks, but this time from Papo. They are a hammerhead and a saw shark. And these two are my favourite sharks, simply because they make me think of Knifehead from Pacific Rim. 
So here we end with all the figures minus the first three dragons and I will review them or use them in animations at some point. Do you own any of these figures in your collections? Let me know in the comments and have a great day.